Everybody, here we are, episode three point fourteen one four, which is three point fourteen. Kev, how are you? Doing fine, thank you. Could you could you maybe get closer to the microphone? I I actually felt your your face, like you felt your breath. I'm f I'm fine. Um, so we discussed this before. We did three episodes on clowns. Shit's still going on. Have not yet seen one. So let's just touch it a little bit. Give give the give our viewers what they want. They, they apparently we hit a nerve with the fucking the clown stories. Like every week doing the show, people were like, nah, I don't know. Clowns invade suburban communities, and all of a sudden everyone's like, yes, you finally. This is the kind of shit I want to see on the internet. Thank you. And uh, I just I just like that they're cultivating the type of change that I'm looking for in this country, because next week is going to be the first ever. Clowns Lives Matter protest. So you got Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, and now Clowns Lives Matter. But Kev, I think that's going to go, Lou. You think that's going to go well? Can you argue that clowns' lives don't matter? Because I don't think you can. Because their, their good name is being besmirched, Kev. It's being besmirched. Yes, it's being organized by a female clown named Nikki Sin. Nikki Sin. So she's she's like one of those like Cirque du Soleil clowns, I guess, with a name like Nikki Sin. Is she like a but sexy I clown? Gonna, I, I think this is going to end in like a like a. It's going to be like the Saint Valentine's Day massacre. I think it's going to be awful. Like there's gonna there's gonna be like clown beatings all over the place. Or, or here's my prediction: No one's going to give a shit. You think? CNN is gonna like coming to you live from Clown Lives Matter. Nikki, Nikki said, "What do you have to say?" First of all, I just want everyone to know that this is a safe place. We don't want to trigger anyone with our white face paint or our red noses and squeaky shoes. We just want to let the kids know it's safe. We're not gonna touch your butthole if you come by us. But if you see one of us in the woods, go the other way because it's bad. I just like that we had that picture last week with the with the sheriff. Like so many more pictures of like just clowns like jumping up with the sheriff. Like there's so many of that fucking shit on the. <laughs> I just I just hope it isn't like a bike like a fake bike horn that sets off like a riot. Like oh uh, oh uh, oh uh. like that's like what is that? Shots fired! Shots fired! Uh, I didn't read the article, but someone posted something. Uh, one of our friends. Uh, posted an article on my Facebook page today about a clown couple, a husband and a wife who were left their children, like babies, alone at home for hours while they dressed up like clowns and terrorized the neighborhood. So now, not only are they getting arrested for being fucking douchebag clowns, it's like child neglect and abuse and just the scummiest of the scum. One last thing I'll say. McDonald's has also been affected by this. They are holding back appearances by Ronald McDonald until all this shit blows over. So, again, Clowns Lives Matter, this fucking protest better bring back Ronald McDonald. Because he's one of the good ones, goddammit. He's one of the good ones. Have, uh, have Patch Adams' viewings on Netflix skyrocketed in the past <laughs> month and a half? That's my favorite is clown. All right, so we'll, uh, hopefully there's some bloodshed and chaos, but it may just be there nothing happens. Arizona just fucking just goes about their business, and we never hear about the shit again. So we'll see. My <laughs> thing is though is I think next week is just gonna be like we're we're just gonna we're just gonna be like like a real newscast, like chaos in downtown Tucson. <laughs> so. uh, All right, yeah. clown, get out of here. We're done. Okay, that's it. Unless of course next week. There's apocalypse in the in the southwest, and then we're right back on clowns again. No, we're over. It's over. Four episodes. We're we'll done. We'll come back in if we need to, Kev. I don't want to hear that shit. I'm not a quitter. So, on a more serious note, no. <laughs> on a lighter of... note. So, what were you saying? There was something about uh, uh, another sweet, another sports athlete raped. Possibly raped another, a woman? What is this? All right, yeah. So I don't know if you know Derek Rose. He was, like, on the Bulls for a long time. He was, like, the, the superstar after Michael Jordan left. 
he had a lot of injuries in his career, but now he just got traded to the Knicks. So he's he, this is his first year that's going to be on the Knicks. Um, you know, a, a woman is claiming it's his ex girlfriend. His a woman is claiming that you know that she raped that not she that he raped her. Now again, that's something you hear all the time, right? I mean, athlete rapes someone, they take it to court. You know, Kobe. You know, you can bring that up. This one is very interesting, though, because she claims that him and his two friends had sex with her and raped her. And he's claiming that she was okay with that. She's claiming that, no, it wasn't. And he's going, no, 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 that's like Tuesday for me. What are you talking about? So it's very strange because he's not denying that he's not denying that it happened. That's the whole thing. But he's saying that this woman gave all three of us consent to gangbang her. So it's a little fucking weird, man. You know? Isn't that insane? Well, this is like a real, real like high-profile athlete going, she wanted it. She wanted this. those three dicks. You know what? Yeah. I... Again, I, I don't I haven't read the story. I don't know who the, I don't watch sports as we know. I didn't want, but here when when did this happen recently? Two thousand thirteen. Three years ago. And of course, you know, it gets held up in court. Great quote from Derek Rose. It looked like a setup. It turned out to be what I thought. How the what the fuck does that mean? That means <laughs> you know what? Okay, so here it is. Rape happens. There are disgusting pieces of shit out there. Like last night in the Bronx, a 13-year-old girl is walking through a park. A teenage boy grabs her, pulls her into the woods, and rapes her, sexually assaults her. But his girlfriend posts as lookout for him. Like, no, no cops are coming. Go ahead, do it. So it's like a team effort, and it was a guy and a girl. I'm not saying I'm not defending rape because a girl was involved. I'm just saying there are fucking animals out there, and they're not all men. It's not all fucking... And when it comes to athletes, as we've seen in the past, yeah, they fucking take liberties and think they can do whatever the fuck they want because they're millionaires, and they just rape people because they're scumbags. But also, in like the case of uh, Tiger Woods or, or Kobe Bryant, you want to fucking jump on Kobe's dick because he's rich, but you also know you can cry rape at any time. It's like a fucking get-out-of-jail-free card, and the fucking floodgates open, and here comes sure, money. okay, but this is, I mean, this is insane. Because even if she's making this shit up, he's not denying that he, you know, he's saying that three guys had sex with her. Does that not sound like a rape? No, it doesn't. It sounds like group she sex. She was wasted, inebriated, and um, possible. You know, she was sending him weird text messages afterwards. You know, it's talking about how, oh, I, you know, I, I hurt my hands outside of your house on the fire pit. Um, huh. Oh, hammered last night. You know, stuff like that. Um, so, so again, I, I mean, this is different. I mean, yeah, it's like one person's word against another person's word, but this is the first time I really saw it's three guys against one girl. <laughs> what? That's so weird to me. I mean, like, because even if she is completely lying, which I don't know, I mean, who knows? It's hard to, def it's hard to defend when three guys goes, yeah, she wanted it. Like, that's fucking weird. Like, that's crazy to me. Okay. That, like, this room where, like, they're trying to prove, like, nope, no, no, she wanted that. That's <laughs> fucking weird to me, man. Yeah. Isn't it? That's crazy. Look, it, it, it is complex. It definitely is fucking, like, like no, 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 no. We all pulled our dicks out, and she all started sucking her dicks, and she liked it. Uh, again, I wasn't there. I mean, I, I mean, there's some, so, so like, his testimony is, is kind of, he's kind of like a dumb guy. Like, I want to just read some of the things he said. Um, <laughs> so, um, so, so he said that, like, she sent him a text message that made him horny. And uh, <laughs> so, so he said, when she sent me texts like that, 99% of the time it ended up in sex. So what do you expect? This is, this is right. tough. He's I mean, definitely, this, this he's definitely, like, he 
thinks he's just going to get out of Epping because he's an athlete. He's got That's a high power. Okay, so that can happen. I do, I do believe that athletes or celebrities or anyone in power thinks they can get out of anything. But, 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 but there's a but here. Not saying he didn't do it. He might have very well took advantage of this person if she was too drunk to say no or didn't know what was going on. But if you're in a foursome, uh, I feel like, at, you know, are all three of the guys just like muffling her mouth? Like, no, 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 no. Shh, shh, it's me, Casper. Shh, shh, no. But I don't know. But for him to say, it turned out to be what I thought. You brought the two guys over. You brought them over not to have watch a game, not to like play badminton or whatever you're doing. <laughs> For the intent of my girlfriend's coming over later, and she's horny. I mean, I, I just I, like that's any other person that, that's not a high-profile, multi-million-dollar athlete is going to jail in my eyes. Like, there's no way that you. I, I'm sorry. Like, to the fact the fact that you're not even saying that. No, we never had sex with her. No, he's saying that. He's saying yes. She won all three at the same time. Like that's like I can't say enough how how insane this is. But also, that could be an admission of like innocence. There, like yeah, we didn't fucking force her and hold her down and rape her. We had to force him. Look, comedian Jim Jeffrey tells a Jim Jeffries. You know who Jim Jeffries is? He's Australian. Yeah, comedian. Awesome. He tells an awesome story. He's married. I looked her up. She's gorgeous. He's married to a fucking soup. Well, she was a supermodel. Now she's just an older, very attractive woman. You know, she was like high profile model, I guess in the nineties, and she was friends with Madonna. And she tells us she he tells a story in one of his stand up specials, not the last one, the one before. And he says his wife's telling like they're exchanging like sex stories, like, Oh, I used to had sex with this many people. She's like, I was hanging out with my friend Madonna, who at the time was dating um what the fuck's his name? The uh, guy from the Bulls, um uh the the fucking weirdo, the one uh What's his name? You know the fucking weirdo who's like playing in like North Korea. What, what's his name? Uh, Dennis Rodman. Oh, she, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. She's dating Dennis Rodman. He's there with his friend. Okay, so it's Dennis Rodman, his friend. His friend's girlfriend. Oh, no, she, she was dating the guy. She uh, Madonna was dating Dennis Rodman. So it's four people. It's two guys and two women. She's like, well, you know, we were all drinking and doing drugs. And one thing led to another. And he's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, I know what one thing led to another mean. You all started having sex with each other. And she's like, yeah, pretty much. So I, I agree that if it was anyone else, like it was me, and I said, yeah, me and two friends banged my friend, a girl, but she really wanted those two, I'm definitely going to jail or I have to really prove my case. I look at two things. One, it happens often. Most of the uh, – um, that, uh, that, that uh, organization, the um, – Amnesty, Amnesty International organization, most of their cases are rape cases. Guys going to jail for 10, 15 years because some girls said they raped them and it turns out, no, they didn't, and they get they go free after years in jail. That's their number one, is rape cases. That's, that's, that's a fact. Also, if you are rich and you are famous and you're fucking, you know, you get to fuck outside of your weight class. If I had a $10 million, I would have a fucking smoking hot chick that's not to say I can't get a smoking hot chick now, but I gotta work really hard to keep their attention and meet them and court them. And, you know, I'm not a fucking rapist. I'm not gonna get them to my house and hurt them. But if I had millions of dollars in a Ferrari and a giant mansion, I guarantee my, my model girlfriend and her dumbass friends would come over and it'd be a fucking orgy. It's, it's possible. It's very possible. I know people who've been in those situations. So obviously, you be married with a kid. That's not happening for you. I guess college passed and the time for orgies is over for me, probably. I can't say it's never going to happen. But I can't say I believe them. I don't know the evidence. I think, you know, I'm not in the court looking at all the evidence and the text messages and all that stuff. But in this particular case, could this guy be guilty and his friends be guilty? Sure. Could they be innocent and she just is looking for a fucking payday? That's equally as possible. And that's the fucking point. Some girl can cry rape and you're fucked. You're fucked. You have to, it's so much harder as a man to prove I didn't do it. Now, what I was saying before we started the show, 
and as soon as you come back, and I'm not talking to your action figures, we'll d dive into it, but this notion of rape culture, as if it's a culture of rape. Yeah, there's fucking scumbags out there, but it's like 0.7% of the population of men. It's, you know, all, all these feminist lies that come out here, like, like we, uh, we've talked in the past about rape on college campuses. You hear things like, I've heard things like, it's one in four, 20%. It's nowhere near one in four. It's whatever it is. It's awful. Whatever number it is, it's too much. But it's more like one in like fifty-eight cases. So it's you know two percent. It's not twenty. That's a humongous difference. If rape on campuses or rape in culture, let's say in our culture as a whole, you extrapolate that from the college campus, one in four women were being raped. You would open your door and rape would be happening on your front lawn. It's not like that. And what's happening right now, I'm sure. You heard about it. Donald Trump, I listened to the recording today, him and Billy Bush, the famous Today Show host or Entertainment Weekly, whatever the fuck he was on. There's sarcasm in his voice. I mean, yeah, he is definitely a creep and a misogynist in ways that he thinks he can just walk up to a woman and do this and do that and grab her by the pussy or whatever the fuck he thinks he can do. He never said I did it. He was implying, like, I could do whatever I want because I'm a rich and famous guy. But... There is a, 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 you know, the mirror image of, of a Donald Trump, the woman who goes with Donald Trump. He's not a single guy spouting out crap on TV. He's got gorgeous women. So what's, like, both sexes are fucking equally gross in a lot of the same ways. You could say Donald Trump's a piece of shit. He might walk up to women and just kiss them and grab them and think I can do whatever I want. But then some of those women he does it to, marry him. They don't fucking call rape. They go, I like this guy's style because money. So who's the real yeah, whore? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't care for this locker room talk that you're doing right now. Yeah. I mean, this is clearly things I would hear in a football locker room. Yeah. Um, you know, I, what are you gonna say next? That you better use some tic tacs just in case you start kissing someone. Um, you know, are you automatically attracted to beautiful? Do you just I start love, kissing them? I love that. I, I love that. I love that line. You know. I'm just automatically like, oh, yeah, Donald, I, I never occurred to me that the, the smoking hot models that you get to just be in contact with because you're Donald Trump, oh, they're very attractive and you're very attracted to them? That's not interesting. Is that funny how that works out? I but, just, the, to me, it's just funny like how it just escalates from there. It's like, I kiss them, then I grab them by the pussy. Like, really? Is that step one, then step two? Like, that's yeah. it? He's a it's fucking like piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit. But the whole argument I was having, well, I wasn't an argument. I posted something to you. I usually don't try to have arguments on Facebook, but I was just like, I hate the man. I hate him. He's a fucking retard. But it's free speech, number one. And number two, it's not like it's linked to some sexual assault case where some woman's like, he grabbed her by the pussy, and then now they caught him saying he grabbed her by the pussy. It's him just being a fucking Look, chauvinistic wanna, piece of shit. I don't want to get political, but the whole thing is is that it's the guy running for president that said it. Like, oh, that's okay, it's, exactly. It's, it's, if it's the guy from the pr Apprentice, it's a guy running for mayor. I don't give a shit. Yeah, but he's mayor, that's fine. President, and he did fucking say that. He pro and they're saying that there's tons more footage that they could use that they could leak. That's even worse than this. Him dropping the n bomb. Um, him saying worse shit about women. So it's only a matter of time before this stuff comes out and completely just crumbles his ele his oh, uh, well, campaign. Yeah. If it's not already done already, I, I think it's over. You know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lost it. He's fucking declared war on the Republican Party. It's going to be a shit show the next four weeks, and I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Saturday Night Live has never been better. Alec Baldwin, I, I tweeted him. I directly, you know, I tweeted to Alec Baldwin. I said, listen, you're awesome. SNL's been so great the last few weeks, but I'm afraid that your face will get stuck like that. My mom said if you make a face, it'll get stuck like that. I'm afraid he might just... He might just get stuck looking like Gargamel for the rest of his fucking life. So, yeah, I don't want to talk about Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck about the piece of shit. But the point I'm making is there's actual rape happens. This, this basketball player. That very mel, very uh, may well turn out to be true, and he should go to jail for rape. Him and his three fucking piece of shit friends. But it could also be, hey, we have money, we're doing blow and drinking all night, and we had a fucking orgy. That shit, it does happen. It's not like I, some... Yeah, but you know, I, I get it's, it's someone that is his girlfriend, and yeah, I don't know. The whole know, thing I, is I, fucking again, weird. Yeah, people are into weird shit, that's it's, fine. It's weird. Um, you know, this could be clearly somebody trying to get money out of somebody, but the fact is, is that it's not just 
her accusing him of doing this. It's I know. Him and his pals. <laughs> and I don't even know the names of the guys. They, for all I know, they could be other players on the NBA. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. It's um, weird. It's a weird fucking situation. But enough of this locker room chatting we're doing. I mean, this is clearly, I go in the locker room all the time. It's just pussy grabbing and fucking locker rooms, man. We got to get rid of those locker rooms. Yeah, it's weird. But at the same time, one last thing, and then we'll, I want you to reveal your Marvel, your Marvel masterpiece. Um... I said it yesterday, I said it again today. I've had weird conversations with people, men and women, and women, yes, yes, women, with you. You know who the fuck you are. And fucking, when it comes to sex, we like to dull, you know, indulge in our fucking fantasies, and it's funny, and it's good conversation, and it's, it's entertaining. And I've heard women say some fucking crazy shit about, like, dicks and doing things and things they enjoy doing and all this kind of crazy shit and i've heard guys talk about women like they're fucking pieces of meat and they're not sexual predators and then they they have and they have no disrespect for women but when they're just like bullshitting about fucking and they're just they're ob, you know objectifying men and women both obje objectify each other that's that's how we uh, maybe not every single person i guess you're going to disagree or whatever you objectify you look at someone and think i want to fucking have sex with that it becomes a, a sexual object and when a woman looks at a man and says i want to fucking you know because he's got money and he's got probably got a big dick or whatever the fuck turn you on you're objectifying it's okay it's all right we're humans and that's what we do it's different to go and gr drag a girl from her walk and rape her it's a big difference you know if we call saying sexy weird shit and creepy stuff sexual assault then what the fuck do you call actual sexual assault i don't understand you you, you like diminished actual people being raped and people being muffled like for example it's like you know the girl in the bronx oh why was she walking there so late she saw me on yeah 13 year old girl should not be just wandering around 10 o'clock at night but you don't blame the fucking person who gets raped for being raped. You don't do that. That's and look, look at Facebook. Where's the fucking that? Where's that news story? I, I posted something before. It's like Muppets. The Muppet Show is is trending, and so is the Power Rangers trailer. No rape story. No one's talking about that shit. Haiti's nowhere to be found. I mean, I don't even know where to, what to say about it. Red Cross went down there during the earthquake and you know took all that money and blew it. And the same thing's gonna happen to these fucking people again. You know, it's fucking terrible. But we're arguing about Trump, but I can't. I couldn't just let it go this time. I hate him. I fucking hate his face. But what he said was nothing. It was fucking nothing. It was a shitty fucking rich b wig wearing motherfucker talking shit with another fucking. Yeah, unfortunately, it's proven to be the straw that broke the camel's back in many people's eyes. Well, so whatever. whatever. That's fine. Nothing. Great. It was everything. I mean, this this really was the one that that did did it to him. So it, not every, anything else that he said the last couple of months. Yeah. It was so. going to be something. Anyway, is it time? Kev, is it time? I had my glasses on the whole time. There's a weird effect going on. But I'm going to put them back on. Yes, it's time. It's time. All right. So this next uh, version, I actually started talking about this um, on a road trip uh, in Massachusetts. But uh, I'll, I'll save it for here. So first of all, um, you know, are you, are you good at juggling, Lou? No, I can't. No. I can maybe juggle like two things. I wish I could. I mean, I, I think juggling is really cool. I don't juggling know, like, two I things think, isn't juggling, Kev. Juggling it's just like catching. Eight, juggling eight things in a row for like a span of like 30 minutes in a row, I think is very impressive. Hand eye coordination. But one thing I will say is that if you're a good juggler, why the fuck would you become a criminal? And this is exactly these characters. They're called the Death Throws. And they're a team of juggling criminals who um, are enemies of Hawkeye and Captain America. And pretty much what they do is, um, there's five of them. There's Ringleader, there's Knick Knack, Oddball, Ten Pin, and Bombshell. So each one has a special weapon that they use. <laughs> and of course. What, they, what they do to opponents is they occasionally surround a person and start juggling among themselves. Rapidly passing dangerous objects such as blades, torches, oh, oh. chainsaws, and explosives between them. <laughs> this surrounds the person with an endless stream of deadly items flying perilously close by from all directions, pinning and intimidating them. <laughs> the death throws juggle almost all the time. 
even when discussing discussing things with somebody else. So they don't stop juggling when they're attacking someone. They literally, in every scene they are in, they're juggling as they're, so what do you want to do for breakfast? It's like chainsaws, flaming bowling pins, machetes, grenades, just all in one scene. Um, so as you can tell, you know, ringleader, he has sharp rings that he throws around. Oddball has color that explode. Bombshell has like grenades and bombs and stuff. And Tenpin has flaming bowling pins. And Knickknack, he's a midget, but he also, he, he's the most dangerous one because he has all the blades. So he jungle, juggles like chainsaws and machetes and swords. So, it, you, you know, again, every scene you're in, you're like, how do I get out of this? Get out of the fucking circle and you're fine. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty much the idea. It's like, why does this exist? <laughs> so why they're like are they juggling and professional supervillains? So they're like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just like dickheads? Yeah, they're assholes. They're, they're, they're literally, like, useless. Like, even villains are just like, why are these guys even here? <laughs> like, I have a death ray. He's got a fucking bowling pin that he's throwing at me. Why is this happening? But there's five of them, so they're all, they're all like, they had, a, like, a dream. Like, they're like, we need to recruit more people into our club. Like, we need five juggling criminals. Like, they, they probably put on Craigslist. Do you like to juggle and rob banks? This team's for you. Yeah. Sometime in, like, the late 80s, early 90s, juggling became really, like, a fad. And, and that's what it was. It was, like, the late 80s. Some Marvel, some Marvel guy was like, yeah, they wanted to get the kids. We'll get the kids to read. Juggling. I is, there like a, about, is there a yo-yo? Is there, like, a villain that uses, like, yo-yos in comics? Like, yeah, kids. Look at Walk the Dog. Dead. <laughs> and I, you know what's funny is I'm going to do research after that. I bet you I'll, I'll come up with a right as a yo-yo. That's so funny. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is the one time I thought they were cool is there was a storyline that was in London where the, the terrorist organization hired supervillains to aid them, and their, their job was to sit on top of the London Bridge and pretty much throw all their stuff down at people on the bridge and kill them. So I thought that was that was like kind of cool um, that they were juggling in the air and like throwing down explosives and knives and stuff. So I thought that was kind of interesting that that was a good use out of those characters, as opposed to just five people in a in a circle. Come on, guys, quarter them! And Hawkeye's like, "What the fuck is this? Like, am I gonna? Should I stop and watch this? Or <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny." That's all. And what are they called? The death throws. The death throws. Yeah. Oh god, some some fucking some like young fucking Marvel. He's like, yeah, got 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 blue lightning in my hands. So one thing too, I I I, uh, I haven't read it yet, but there was a recent issue where they came back. They hadn't appeared in a long time, and they had a new member, and it was a guy, a woman dressed like Uncle Sam on stilts. I don't know what her name was, but yeah. So that's their newest member, like a stilt. Wearing <laughs> Uncle Sam juggler, so they got a new member. Craigslist work, guys. Good. Yeah, they joined force with the Juggalos. They went to like a music festival. Like, hey, you want to fight? Want to fight the heroes? Let's come on, come on, chick. Come on, Fuck. stop that clown talk over there. No, it's that's uh, clown uh, talk. That's maybe for next week. We'll see. No, um, if if anybody dies, we're definitely talking about it. If no one dies, it's it's gone. We're done. It's gone. All right. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up there, Kev. Uh, it was a good show. I hope the I hope the audio stayed and hope hope this is going to be posted up tomorrow. So I think what we're going to do from now on is um, uh, I, I think uh, because of scheduling, I, I started a second job and it's kind of crazy. Uh, it's we'll really crazy. It's I want to start posting instead of posting on like Sunday night or Monday. I think we should post every Wednesday. Go from Wednesday to Wednesday, and uh, this way it gives us time to you know record and I got time to edit and all that shit and we'll do the hump day thing. We'll just go hump day until uh, we come up with a better idea. So all right. Well, this hope you enjoyed the show. I've I run out of milk and orange juice so uh, she's she's actually at the walls of Jericho right now. And <laughs> You're on the list. Barbarians though. at the gate right now. Yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching and uh, peace. Hey guys uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching the new episode, and we really want to appreciate you guys' comments, sharing the uh, the uh, show, and showing us the love. 
you know, we're, we're growing, we're getting better, Kev, we're doing good things, and we want to let you guys know the Big Bucket community is, uh, is much appreciated. Thanks. Share. Please like, share, and subscribe.